once again. Hey, David. Can you hear on. me? Yep. Hey, it looks right. like, uh, looks like, <laughs> Blake, this is the most unique background. I feel really, I just don't feel worthy of this background <laughs> that you've put together. I mean, this is amazing. Well, you know, when I'm coming to a party with like oh, cool sunglasses like that, the least I can do is bring along my friend, Luca Petroli, <laughs> the father of accounting. Uh, I should say thank you to the AICPA for creating these backgrounds. They just put them out on their blog and uh, there's a bunch of them. You should go download them. Okay. We're, we'll try to link that up afterwards. And I see a lot of chat happening right now before Blake, you just run with it. Just to, just to level set with everybody. A lot of questions about the vendors, a lot of questions about the speakers. We're going through a ton of content today. So we're going to recap it in the offer page. If you have questions about Smart Vault or you didn't get the link, we're going to send you the link. If you have questions, you know, earlier on in the workflow stuff, you're asking about Jetpack. We have a demo of Jetpack workflow later. Um, so if we don't get to everything, that's okay. Blake, thanks for dropping the Zoom backgrounds in there as well. So 1149. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to you now to dive into Drav and all the wonderful things that it could do. And thanks for, for coming on and sharing this with our community. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And thanks everyone for joining. So Drav is financial planning and analysis in the cloud, FP&A. You might be wondering why a giraffe? Uh, why do we call this company Giraffe, which is just a misspelling of the word giraffe? Well, it's because the giraffe is the tallest animal in the world. And that means it has a great view not only of what's in front of it, but what's behind it all around. And our goal at Giraffe is to give you the best view possible when it comes to understanding where your business is going and where it's been and the same thing for your clients. And the way we do that is with driver-based financial modeling that includes planning reports and dashboards. And it lets you develop plans, pro forma financial statements that you would have done in Excel for your clients uh, in a fraction of the time. You can connect your AV to your accounting data and your headcount data, and then import that to start building your plan, uh, and then use it to update and reforecast that plan uh, to, to roll it forward and then send the reports out to your clients. So it's all about automating that entire uh, uh, output to the clients. I don't know about you, but I spent a long time as a bookkeeper um, when I started in accounting. I started at the very bottom as a bookkeeper and uh, over the last 10 years spent so much time automating all the inputs, right? Getting the bank feeds going, um, getting the bank rules going, uh, uh, connecting apps with the API so I didn't have to do data entry anymore. And, you know, 80% of that is gone now, maybe 90%. Uh, and so uh, the next step is the output side, getting the reports to the clients. We're still doing that very much manually. And I think there's a like ton of uh, for improvement uh, just based on, my own practice that I had before I joined Drev. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the solution, some screenshots here of what we do. So the first thing you'll do when you go into Drev is you connect your actuals. So we connect to QuickBooks, to Xero, to NetSuite, and we have an intact, a Sage intact integration in the works. We're getting listed on their marketplace, um, like getting approved for all that. Very exciting. We also have a Gusto integration that just came out. So if you're on Gusto for payroll, and let's say QuickBooks for your accounting, you can connect both those systems. Uh, you just would click connect um, in our setup and, and then authorize securely. And we'll pull in your account chart of accounts, your trial balances, and your staff uh, every month. And you can integrate with a Google Sheet too. So if there's like operational data that you want to bring into Giraffe, like website visits or widgets produced or really anything you can think of, uh, you can do that as well. So then the first thing that happens is you're able to visualize on dashboards what's going on. This is not uncommon. You may have seen this with other products. Uh, you can build a dashboard, multiple dashboards for yourself, for your clients that shows them the key metrics they need to be tracking, such as cash, COGS, AP. You can customize this to your heart's content, move the widgets around, that sort of thing. Uh, where we really get sophisticated is with the reporting, the ability to show both the actuals and a forecast. So this is an example of an executive summary report that we do. And you can see for January, we're pulling in actuals. And for our forecast, we're starting in February. And we've created a custom KPI line here in our executive summary. You can add as many as you want, create as many different lines and, and do what you would do in Excel. In this example, we're taking the QuickBooks data of uh, revenue and we're dividing it by your Gusto headcount. 
And because we're pulling in that information every single month, uh, both historically and then projecting it going forward based on the, the drivers you choose, uh, we can display that information. You can build out a staffing plan using your Gusto data or your payroll data. And by the way, if you don't have Gusto, you have some other system, you can do an Excel import. Not as smooth, but it works just the same. You just do that every month. Um, so you can pull in your Gusto data and then you can build out a hiring plan. Um, and so you can make that driver based. You could say, for instance, I wanna hire a new person every time I add $10,000 of revenue, for instance. Um, you can also use your headcount to drive assumptions um, or to, to drive operating expenses, for instance. So I could create a formula, we call them drivers in Giraffe, but you'd call them a formula in Excel. And you can say that I want my meals and entertainment uh, to be driven by my headcount. So I'm gonna take my headcount every month and I'm gonna multiply that by a constant 150. You can get more fancy with this if you want. So you can build out um, plans, forecasts. You can take a plan, you can make it a plan of record, which is essentially a budget. Uh, you can have rolling forecasts and then you can archive any former plans and you can visualize plans against each other. So basically doing a scenario analysis. And once you're done with that, you can publish and collaborate. So you can build a monthly reporting package uh, that includes your forecast and your historicals and your dashboards. And you can share that automatically with clients online instead of having to export to Excel, assemble into a PDF and then email to them every month. And here's the best part. Once you've built a plan, let's say you build a financial model for a particular business. Let's say it's a brewery and you're really proud of this model and it took you like days to build in Giraffe. You can clone it. You get a new brewery client, you can go ahead and take that model uh, you clone it and it comes in with all of the drivers you've already built up, all the reports you've already built up. You would then go connect the actuals, map the chart of accounts, and you're done. And we've got some really happy customers. So, uh, you know, we've got uh, Matthew May of Acuity is a big fan of Giraffe, uh, Jim Jealous of uh, Cruise Consulting, Thomas Fasolo, uh, Jason Sagna of Insagna CPAs are all standardizing all of their reporting and uh, dashboarding and planning for clients on Giraffe. Uh, and we really hope we get to see you again someday soon in person at conferences. Uh, if you are at QuickBooks Connect someday or ZeroCon or uh, uh, Intact Advantage or any of these conferences, ASCP Engage, you stop by and say hi and take a picture with one of our giraffes. We call them giraffes. And that's all I got, David. I think that was my five minutes, right? I love it. I love it. Um, well, I, nice. came, I came in right I, on track. 